how you doing? Welcome back to another Bubby Golf video. I appreciate y'all for being here. Thank you for tuning in, tuning on in. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, the thumbnail of this video, it is going to be a cold one. That is why I am doing the introduction to this video from the warmth of the car. Because right outside the window there on that lake is the golf course. You will be seeing us play today. My buddy Danny and I, we woke up at 5 a.m., drove three hours north into Wisconsin from Chicago to make this golf course and to make this video. And uh, yeah, so if y'all if y'all enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It really helps your boy out. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like ice fishing. Let me know if you like ice skating. Let me know if you like the cold or if you like the warmth. Me, personally, I'm in Texas now. You know, your boy, I like the warmth. That, that, that's all there is to it. But yes, we came up here. We made a four-hole golf course, and that is the video you are currently watching. We are going to get right into the action. We are going to be playing a two-hole match, me against my boy Danny. And I hope you all enjoy the video. Again, thank you for being here. Much love. Let's get right to it. All right, all right, all right. We have, we have made it out here on the ice. As you can see, it is, it is quite thin ice, to be honest with you. I think it's like two and a half, three inches right now. But yes, I'm going to explain to you how the holes are working right now. We got one, two, three, and four holes today. This is how the first hole is working. The first hole is the longest hole. We're going from right here. That's Dan. Howdy. <laughs> That's Dan. And our pin is that green bucket up there so we know where the hole is. I think this hole is probably about 110, 120 yards right now. And I know in the intro I said we're going to be playing a match, but we were looking at this, trying it out. This is going to be mad difficult, people. This is, this is putting on ice. Like when they say it, Augusta, it's like putting on ice. This is the real deal. We are putting on ice. We have no clue how this is going to work. Have you ever done this before? I got my green jacket on for Augusta. <laughs> he does have the green jacket on. Yes, yes. Dan and I were just out here ice fishing, slaying some bluegill and crappie action. You know what it is. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a two-man scramble for y'all today. And, uh, yeah, Danny, Dan, Dan's going to start us off here. Let's see what he can do. He's going with, by the way, the clubs we brought, we have a putter. And I brought an 8-iron. You'll see why the 8-iron will come in handy on the next three holes. I don't know if there's going to be any break in this today. Oh, yeah. Get down there. Get that good read, guy. It's kind of coming back. It might be really good speed once it hits that. That looks really good pace. Sit down. I'm sorry, people, but watching the shots is going to take a little bit because settle. Not bad. And people, the one thing you will notice about the four holes we set up here today, every hole has kind of a backstop to it. Just because like, if this ball got out on the ice and got going with the wind, it would be taken all the way across the entire lake. And we don't want to be putting golf balls in the ecosystem here. I think that's right. We don't want to, we don't want to be messing them up. We don't want to be messing up no ecosystem. So everything's got a little backstop. Let's see, I'd say this is, every hole's a par three. Let's say that. Little right. Oh. Show me a bounce. Show me a kick. Oh. Oh dear. No way. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. Do it. Ooh. Is it still going? I it's still it. going a little. It's so close though. Oh, it's right in front of the bucket. It went behind the bucket. Oh. <laughs> it's just I don't know. A hole in one. That Let's get close. up there and see. All right, guys, we are really excited to see where my shot ended up. So we're kind of running on up here. Let's hope. Let's hope we don't fall. We have we've had one buddy that's fallen. I think like what four or five times today. Four or five. <laughs> it's it's slick out here. Watch. Ooh. Like it is clear, clear ice today, people. So it's mad slick, but clear ice is also a good sign because that means it is very strong, solid ice. Not a lot of oxygen in it. I think that sounds right. I could be very wrong. Oh, it's behind the bucket. And people, coming up to the pin, the hole, the green, the ice here. This is how it is set up today. We took the auger that we used to make the holes for ice fishing and drew a little hole in the ice. Now it'll be our golf hole today. Look at this shot, people. <laughs> that speed control. I'm not going to act like that skill. That is all luck. That is just guessing and getting lucky. But obviously, you get to move the bucket. And... Oh, oh my goodness. And now we have this putt right here for our birdie too. Luckily for us, the holes are a lot bigger than a normal golf hole today. We used a six inch auger. 
There you go, a little curling cleanup action. The thing is though, you gotta be careful with these short putts because if we don't make it, it could run 20, 30 feet by. Oh, the snow. What happened? Oh, the, the snow. snow slowed it down. I mean, it's gotta be pretty straight when you think about it. So yours is a tap in, so I'm just gonna make sure I get it there. Oh. Did I really just miss a <laughs> six inch golf ball from five feet? All right, tapped in Dan's. It was a good team effort there, you know, good group effort there. So that is a par three on the first hole. We still have three holes left to play. The next two are the easiest on the course. And the fourth hole is the hardest on the course. All right, people, we just set the pin up. Well, the bucket up on hole two of this four hole golf course. And look at what is going to make this hole so tough and so difficult. It is super bumpy here. The way the ice froze, look at it. All the texture and the terrain we are gonna have to go through to get to the hole. Once again, another par three, let's get to it. All right, gonna keep the same order as last time. Dan is gonna start us off. He has got the putter in hand. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh. What a kick. No way. Oh. oh. Give me one. It's like Plinko. <laughs> Give me one more. Come back, set. That's a very good putt. That was a very good putt there, Dan. This putting thing is easy, dude. I don't know what the problem <laughs> is. This is on ice. Dan, put one there up there close, so I'm just gonna make sure I get it there, give it a chance to make a one. Boom, insert shot tracer. <laughs> That's so fast, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. oh no, if that goes out on the lake. Uh, it's gonna go in the water. He's going to get it. Oh, if he went through the water, this would be golden. Alright guys, coming up to the green here. I don't know why I keep calling it the green, but I feel like calling it the green. Danny hit an absolutely phenomenal putt, slash shot, slash ice roll, slash ice slip on up here. And we have this left for our birdie. Boom! Look at that! Birdie. Natural birdie too. I didn't even do nothing on that hole. Nice shot, Danny. That's a two putt on ice from like. That was like 100 something. 85, 90 yards, I think. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Danny coming through clutch, making a birdie all on his own. I did absolutely nothing that hole, people. Going on to hole three though now. We are one under par. We are going to tear this course up, guy. All right, guys. Got the pin set up, the bucket set up for our third hole of the day here. And this one is quite treacherous. We have. Tree remnants, snow, holes, bumps in our way on this one. Danny's scouting the terrain right now. Reading the greens. <laughs> Reading the greens. All right, guys, Danny's gonna start us off here again. What are you seeing on this one? It's gonna go boop, beep, and then bop, bop, beep, beep. Boop. <laughs> I like it. That is, that is some professional information right there, y'all. We need a big bop. That ain't it. Ooh, that actually slows down. All right. Not as good as last hole, but can't it's still. Can't win them all. Can't, can't win, them, win all. them all. That's why we got a team. Good night, my hands are getting cold now. Give me a good kick. Oh my goodness, do it. Oh. Wow. That had to have been so close. That's what's, that's what's cool about this. So as we get up there and with the snow around the hole, we're going to be able to see the trail of the ball, like do on the greens in the morning and see just how close it was. I don't know if y'all can see that trail on the camera, but it's right here. Yeah, if you, you can see it. If you pull back, it had to have gone right by the bucket. Man, all right, that's beside the point though. We now have a tough birdie putt to say the least. That was not a bad putt, people. That just took the... <laughs> oh my goodness. That just that could be an $800 fall, even more, with this camera in my hand. That was not a bad putt there, people. Just took a little wanky bounce. Now Dan's going to knock it in. Oh, oh you got to hit it. All right, just tap mine in. Nice. 
All right, guys, walking away from hole three with a par there, with a par three on hole three. <laughs> Wished it was a two, but yes, we are one under through three. Coming up to the fourth and final hole of the day here. I do not have the pin placed yet, but this hole gives you two options of play. Right here, as you can see, we have this field of reeds. The pin is going to be right there. The pin is going to be right there. So option one, you play through the reeds, take that risk. Or option two, you hit it around and play slowly. This is going to be the only par four today. I am mad excited for this hole because this one's got some, got some risk and reward to it. So I'm going to head out there. This is one where the eight iron may come into play too. I'm going to head out there. I'm going to put the pin in play. Uh, show you how the viewpoint of the hole when the pin is in place. I, I, I think that made sense grammatically. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, just got the pin slash bucket set into place. And if you look, I kind of tried to put this hole in the middle of the reeds here. So it's, all, it's, not, a, it's not an easy hole if you take it out to the left. You still got some of the reeds in play that you have to navigate and uh yeah i'll show y'all what the hole looks like with the pin in from up at the tee box cue that now all right guys we are back up at the tee box and this is what the hole looks like with the pin in place just to give y'all some better reference risk going through the middle but also reward to be had if you take that route danny is going to start us off here going with the eight iron you're going more fun you going through or you going around i'm gonna go through let it kind of like a car wash, you know? Just kind of let those bristles just slow it down. <laughs> couple hops, couple branches, terrible. Nice. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> right I, idea. I think maybe if you got it like really high and had like one good bounce through there to clear it all, that's the move. But that wasn't the move. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with the eight iron play two. I'm gonna try and carry it into the reeds and see what happens because this is a par four so even if we do have a bad tee shot we have time to bounce back wow yeah really got eaten up we should have they're harder we're, than they we're, look we're, we're, we're first timers so we don't exactly know how the ball is going to react in the water reeds on ice with snow and the ice in between the water reeds. Yeah, let's let's just go hit the next shot. All right, guys, I'm going to hit this one first. I think the play is going to be eight iron again. Try and pop it on out or something. We can still get up and down for a birdie, Danny. I got I got faith in us. Hit a reed, hit a reed, hit a reed, hit a reed, hit a reed. Wow. I'm so bad with this camera, dude. This golf hole is actually really tough. I did not think it'd be this difficult when I was designing it per se. I don't really know if it's called design, but just drilling a hole in the ice and saying, yeah, we're playing from here to here. But this hole's mad fun. We should we should have played every hole with reeds in it like this. Ice safety tip for you. Reeds have some of the worst ice to be standing on. So don't do this. <laughs> Thank Definitely you, Definitely not while hitting it with a golf club. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Oh, that's been... That's Hit the bucket. That's gone. All right, we, we're in trouble here. All right, guys, coming up to my ball here, I went well past the bucket slash pin slash hole slash green again. So Danny's gonna start us off here. I think he's got the eight iron in hand, but me, I am going to be using the putter for this one because the eight iron has not been treating us oh so well. Oh, that's in the middle of the lake. All right, I'm putting this, I'm putting this joint. No way. Sit. Sit. Find that read. Woo -hoo -hoo. How you doing? We in business. We're going to finish it one under if we make that. All right, guys. We got this putt on the final hole to remain under par in this challenge. We are currently one under par. This putt is for par. So one under if we, if, if we make this, which I'm confident we will. Just going to knock it on in here. Boom. Let's go. It feels like winning the Masters because we're putting on ice kind of like the greens at Augusta. Not really. It doesn't feel that good. But, but this video is mad fun to make. Here you go. Let me, let, me take, let me take the camera from you. Danny, the man just behind the camera for that putt, he hit, you, made, you made the only birdie of the day by yourself. So I'm one under. One under, one under. What, tell the people, what's, what's your Instagram? Dan goes fishing. Dan dot goes dot 
fishing. Fishing. Dan goes fishing. Danny, Danny's not just my fishing buddy though. We've been really good buddies since what was freshman year of high school. Yeah, we golfed together. We both we, we both played golf at Palatine High School. Right Let's see it. Ooh wee! Yes, high sir. Golf, that, that'll get you around Palatine Hills under 80. That is <laughs> that's for sure. And uh yeah, finish this challenge at one under. And uh yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I would like to do this again, so let me know in the comments. I this was mad fun. Maybe we'll actually make a real course with like 607 yard, 600, 700 yard holes where you could actually hit like a wedge and let it bounce and roll up to a green of some sort. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And again, like Dan said, please don't go out on thin ice and try this. I do not condone doing this unless the ice is at least four inches thick. Four inches thick is what they say is safe to be ice fishing on. So please adhere to that information, that warning. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Much love. Peace.